So turn with me to unit one, page four, and we're gonna talk about getting our violin or viola in position. So let me talk first about how important it is that we hold our body in the most natural, relaxed way. That means, so I played the violin for over 50 years. For 50 years, I've enjoyed putting my violin under my chin. Now in 50 years, I've not had shoulder pain, and I don't have neck pain, and I don't have a big sore on my neck. And the reason for that is that I had teachers help me when I first started to get very comfortable. So in the book, you'll notice they have you put your, your instrument over your head. Well, the reason is over your head is so that your shoulders are down and relaxed. So if I played for 50 years like this with my shoulder up, pushing my violin up, let me turn around. You'd see what happens to my back. I would have so many stiff necks. I would be so uncomfortable. Now it can happen. I've seen people play with their shoulder up and, and they can do it. Um, but I play very comfortably and so I would also like for you to play comfortably. Now I have a very thin shoulder. Pe not everyone needs a shoulder rest. There are many people who play beautifully and very comfortably without a shoulder rest. So I don't want people to feel like you have to have a shoulder rest. For some people though, especially people with thin shoulders or a really long neck, it's, it, you have to fill up the space with something. So it's either, and if I'm holding this, this direction, let me put it this way. So I want my violin to be flat like a plane. And the reason is, uh, remember when we talked about the bow? The bow is the only way you're going to make music. Well, you can pick, but all the tones are gonna come from the bow. And it's much easier to have a beautiful solid sound if you've got gravity working for you. Now, when I'm playing, if my, it's a little bit difficult to get this all in the camera. When I'm playing, if my violin is down, leaning down, and collapsing forward, it's going to be very hard to keep an even steady weight on the bow without me squeezing the bow and squeezing and pushing on top of the violin. So what I want is to have my space filled with something really comfortable. And let me put my bow down. So can you see this space right here? So if I fill it, then I can keep my bow at a really nice level and I can also keep both shoulders relaxed. So we don't freeze our shoulders down. We also don't wanna play with one up. I don't play with either shoulder up. So I use, um, I really like this. There's lots of different chin rests or shoulder rests. And I, in the beginning, just a piece of foam is super helpful. And it's actually often a piece of foam is, is better because then you can figure out what really works for you. I already know I have thin shoulders and I have this neck that gets in the way. So I put, uh, depending on your body size and body shape, some people will put a shoulder rest straight across and some people that are very thin shouldered will usually go at an angle. So it doesn't matter. I, it, what, it's literally what's ever most comfortable for you. So if I set my violin up above my head, let's see, hold it right there on the camera. Then when I come over here, I just want it to sit on this spot. Now can you see I've filled that space so I can easily hold my instrument or I can let go if I want. So you don't play with your instrument always held only with your chin or your hand never holding it or your hand always holding it and your head never. What you want is for your body to be comfortable to be able to do both. So when, uh, please note, when I bring my violin up, this knuckle down to my elbow, so if I had a big stripe from my elbow to my fingertip, it's as straight as I can get it. And my fingers fold over the string. You see all four fingers are folding over the string. Let me see if I can get it like this. So it's a straight line from here to there. Now. Is this a straight line? Can you see that crooked? No. And this will be a very tired, this will be a hand that hurts and is also a hand that can't vibrato and get up past fourth position. So to be able to be flexible and be able to move comfortably, I want my thumb to lightly, lightly, lightly polish the side. And I want my hand to have from this knuckle all the way down to my elbow to be a nice straight line. This is not a straight line. 
This is not a straight line. A little bit of space. So violin comes up or viola. So if it's from here, then it gives me a chance to get my shoulders relaxed. It comes on, my nose and my scroll line up. So that means, so with my camera, I've had a hard time trying to figure out where to do it because when I play the violin, my music and my scroll and my nose are working together. Um, my scroll is not, my nose and scroll are not exactly lined up. But I, what I don't want to do is to play the violin for 50 years with my head in these positions. So what holds the instrument is not squeezing. The weight, your head's very heavy. So if I, put the, if I put the instrument up to my shoulder and then let my head fall slightly forward, let me turn this way. So when I'm up, put my instrument in, turn my head, and then it just slightly comes forward. I'm using the power of the, the weight of my head holds the violin up. So it's, so, it's, not, it's not hard. It's, I'm not grunting. Your teeth should not be touching each other. So you play with your mouth open. I learned that when I got TMJ for a very brief time. I, oh, I was very serious and I would clench my teeth. So then I, I uh, realized, oh, no. So it's really helpful to play and talk at the same time. It pushes, it pushes both sides of your brain. So when I'm doing my scales, even 50 years later, if somebody's at my house, they'll hear me. They'll hear A B C D E F G H E, and back and forth because it forces me to make sure my mouth is open. It also helps me correlate the pitch with the sound. So here's nice and comfortable. My head's turned slightly. It's not hard. It's not a harsh turn. It's also I can't do it forward because then I would have to. Uh, I would have to push down. So if I turn my head a little bit, the weight of my head, and then it's very comfortable. I can, I can hold it slightly with my thumb if I want to, and totally let go and play. Or if I want to use complete control, and have my hands free, then I have the weight of my head is right there and available. So I know we spent quite a bit of time on this, but nothing will pay you back more than getting comfortable with the violin. So what you'll want is when you put your, your shoulder rest on, notice I never put my bridge to touch a surface. Surface. So if it's on my lap, it goes between my thighs so that there's, the bridge is not being pushed on. If I have it here, I'm using rest position technique with my elbows, which is also good for grabbing children, and holding it steady so I can get my shoulder rest to the spot where I like it. And now I'm ready. So we'll test it out. How comfortable is it? So I can, I can look away or I can play. relaxed, my shoulders are relaxed, and I have options for how I hold it. And if you can hold it comfortably without a shoulder rest, then that will mean that you can hold it level and both shoulders can be level without tension and you're not, they're not gritting anything. So it's not a painful, heavy, hard thing. And if when you're practicing, you get a really big red mark over here, it means we need to work with your chin rest. So there's a, lots of different shapes and lots of different sizes. And you'll find a chin rest that works for you and then you just move that from violin to violin as you get different instruments or viola to viola. So it's possible to play for many, many years. The more naturally you hold the instrument, the longer you can play very comfortably. And it's a lot of fun. I've had 50 years of fun with the violin.